Did you know that all British passports were in French until 1858? But why was this? The concept of the passport as we know it today has ancient roots. Early examples date back to medieval times, when travellers would carry letters of safe conduct. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that the modern passport system began to take shape. In the 18th century, passports were more about confirming the identity of the bearer rather than facilitating international travel. It was during the Napoleonic Wars that the concept of a standardised travel document gained prominence. As Europe grappled with the aftermath of the Napoleonic Wars, the balance of power shifted and diplomatic norms evolved. It was during this time that French became the dominant language in international affairs. French was considered the language of diplomacy, and it was only natural for travel documents, including passports, to be written in French. It was a lingua franca that transcended national boundaries. The turning point in the language of British passports came with the Treaty of Paris in 1856, which marked the end of the Crimean War. The treaty was a catalyst for change, impacting not only international relations but also the language of official documents. The Treaty of Paris marked a shift in the geopolitical landscape, and as a result, English began to assert itself as a language of international diplomacy. Even though English eventually took over as the primary language of passports, the legacy of the French influence is still visible today. The multilingual nature of passports reflects the diversity of the global community. Language is a reflection of historical connections, and the use of multiple languages in passports acknowledges the interconnectedness of countries. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe and share it with whoever you think will enjoy it.